What's good out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here, back with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, we will be going over how to get the DM trailer online. I hope everybody's having a good time with director mode online. If you haven't checked out the first video I posted, I'll leave a link down in the description and the pinned comment to that video. That's also good for people that need to learn how to use Save Wizard to do this glitch. So definitely check that one out. Now, this video is gonna be all about getting modded outfits, all right? Thanks to Shift Team, the founders, shout out to Shift Team for finding out everything that has to do with outfits in this video shout out to him we're gonna be able to grab as many modded outfits as we can fit basically and I'm gonna show you a method to keep going back to the trailer and you only have to hit the glitch one time okay it's super super easy to do once you get the director mode menu online I'm also gonna teach you how to actually make merge slots to make outfits later after you're done with the glitch and how to save the white duffel bag okay so we got a lot to cover in this video we're gonna be using the save wizard method on ps4 for this one and you also need a lag switch okay guys you do need a lag switch to be able to save suspending stops you from saving so you will need some sort of lag switch and I'll explain that once we get to that part of the video okay if you want a link to the one I'm using it's down there in the description it's called net cut so once you have everything you want to go ahead and go into GTA GTA and load up the save that we provided that link is also down in the description and pinned comment and once you've loaded up the save, you'll spawn in as Trevor like you saw there, and you wanna just go online, okay? Go ahead and go online. It's always safe to do this, just to make sure that we've set up the glitch properly to be able to hit it with minimal amount of, you know, chance of maybe getting a black or a blue screen. So I'm spawning down here in my Ulta Street garage, which is my favorite place to hit the glitch. You can do it in a bunker as well, but I like 10 car garages and this is my favorite. So I do Ulta Street, Definitely set your spawn location to one of those and make a game save, okay? Force a save and go back to story mode. Once we're back in story mode, you just want to simply press pause, go to the online tab, and go to creator. If you see a phone call coming up, like that one that he just took out the phone, don't answer that. Just ignore it. Go straight to creator, okay? Now, what you want to do is, once you're in creator, load creation, saved, and head over to a capture that you have made. Any sort of GTA capture, like I explained in the first video, it's very simple to make, guys. Okay, just go in there and make one that you can test and save. It's nice and simple. So, we're loading into the capture now. This is essential. Go over to test, and once you're at test, test team one and what we're gonna do here is I said in the first video tap down twice you need to tap and hold okay usually you got to do it twice the first time doesn't work flip to a story mode character sit on the alert head over to the disconnect area of the PS dashboard accept the alert and disconnect quickly while you're invisible and come back to the game you should get this alert accept it and reconnect your internet okay now we're gonna be spawning back in a story you should see a menu in the top left that glitched from creator that's a good thing that's exactly what you want now I'm gonna teach you guys a little trick here if you ever spawn down here as Trevor and you can't answer the phone call because you're obviously you know getting chased by cops or you're in the water like this all you got to do is that trick you just saw right there hit go GC online and quickly disconnect accept that alert reconnect and come back to the game and you're gonna see right here I spawn back down in a different cutscene of Trevor okay so you're gonna see this right here. Uh, it saves and preserves the glitch, don't worry, you can do that. And now we should get the phone call since he's in a normal state. Hello. Answer it, go ahead and press pause, head over to the Rockstar uh, editor and go into director mode from there. All right, if you get stuck on a black screen right here, it's really easy, activate a recent activity and decline the alert. So once you end up in the trailer as Trevor, you wanna to go to actors, head over to story actors and enter as Franklin. All right, so we're entering DM as Franklin to start this part out. You're gonna spawn over here by the water. Wait for this Lester phone call to come in so that you can go ahead and decline it. And press circle on it and press pause real quick and unpause to fix the menu. Head over to the time of day and just set it to midday now before we get over there. Open up your map and set a waypoint over to the movie theater. All right, and then just go to the location, waypoint part of the menu and you will teleport over there. Okay, so once we've done that, 
we're going to be over here at the movie theater. We changed the time of day because it usually spawns you here at a time of day where the movie theater is not open, but we can press right D-pad and go into the theater. You want to open up your interaction menu, go to return to casting trailer, accept the alert, and a second into the black screen there, just go ahead and activate a recent activity, decline the alert, hit pause while you're in that state with no minimap, go to the online tab, hit go, and right after you hit go and accept this alert, decline, or sorry, re disconnect the internet, and then just come back to the game, you'll get that alert, reconnect and accept, and spawn back down. Okay, you just want to be invisible when you disconnect and go up to the clouds, all right? And just reconnect before you come down. That's it. Now, we're going to spawn back down here as Trevor. You want to go ahead and take out your RPG and take the easy way out, so to speak, all right? Just go ahead and take an RPG and end it, all right? So I'm going to make it a little creative here, shoot the limo, and here we go, all right? So you're going to spawn back at the hospital, okay? So here we are at the hospital. You're going to spawn just like this, and you want to just wait at this point. Just wait. This could take anywhere from 10 or I should say from 30 seconds to, you know, a minute, minute and a half. It all depends on how quickly you did the last steps, okay? Those last steps. I usually run through it pretty quick, so once I get to this point, I can usually put my controller down and just wait, all right? Now, just keep waiting. Eventually, you will see a white circle, all right? You're going to see a white circle in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, all right? That means that we're good to go, and the animation or the cutscene will start soon, all right? So here's the cutscene. It's starting right now. You can simply skip this, okay? Go ahead and press X and skip the cutscene. Once you spawn in as Michael, hit pause, go to the online tab, and head over to creator. And like I said in my last video, this part depends on your connection. You might need to do it quickly, you might not. This is my time, and you can try this, and you can try it differently. So you're gonna spawn in with SP and Creator merged. That's why I can move my camera. I'm gonna double tap, disconnect the internet, and accept the Don't PSN alert. Exit GT Online right after he says up. That's how I do it. Now on the black screen, reconnect your internet like you saw me do right there, and then go and activate a recent activity. All right, and this recent activity should get you the retry alert. There we go, press square on it, and you're good to go. Now it's a waiting game, all right? Now we're just gonna wait, and hopefully if you hit that timing, you should be getting mission failed audio as you're spawning down into your garage or bunker, depending on what you chose to spawn into, okay? So you're gonna hear the sound here. That's the job or the mission fail that we want to hear and you're also going to see us spawning in you see that we're moving in the clouds And we're about to spawn in if you're stuck on this screen You don't see loading in the bottom right and you don't see anything but a black screen in this you need to retry the glitch close game Delete profile retry all right But if you if you did it good and you're on this screen right here You're in an online session what you want to do now is turn on net cut all right I left a link down in the description and pinned comment net cut just simply lags your internet You just hit the little Wi-Fi signal and it'll lag your internet and you want to lag it until you get the story mode the story mode uh, little health bar right there you're gonna see what I mean here but just keep lagging your internet just click that little Wi-Fi symbol and just sit there and wait you're gonna see the screen turn bright and those bars right there you will have the yellow bar from story mode Okay, so it, usually this is real time, how long it takes me. It's about 50 seconds that I have to lag my internet. And once you're done lagging the internet, you will see a change on the screen. Okay, and the change is about to happen very soon. And it looks something like that. All right, so you see I have the yellow bar for story mode now, and the screen is bright. Now you can go ahead and press circle and X, and you quit out of the job. If done correctly, you'll spawn as Franklin here in an SPMP offline state. And you may get an alert also. You're going to be frozen here, or you might not be, but just wait if you are. And you'll get this alert. Go ahead and decline it. Now we can move. Just go ahead and open up the interaction menu and enter director mode. So we're going to spawn into director mode trailer now with Franklin. This is where this step is actually pretty important. You want to go to actors, go to the online characters, and select your online character from here, okay? This is very important to redo the trailer glitch over and over again. Just select it from there, and that's it, all right? Now we're going to spawn completely into DM with our online character. We have director mode. It's as simple now as just pressing pause, go online, and just go into an invite only. You want to go by yourself. If you get that trailer alert there, go ahead and decline it. You don't need that trailer alert. Just decline that alert. 
and you're gonna see you'll spawn rather quickly into this session because there's already a link for online and everything that we've been kind of merging here. So you can see right there, that's real time, top right director mode, and we're spawning into an invite only session. And now I'm gonna show you how to just simply go into the trailer the easiest way with a full menu. Our last method, you actually needed, a, it was actually operating an invisible menu for the DM trailer glitch. So as you can see, we've spawned in here and we have DM online. Director mode is in the top right. I'm just gonna walk out of my garage. Once I'm out here, I'm gonna open up the menu. You're gonna see it's doubled. Just press pause twice and go ahead to return to casting trailer. Accept the alert. Okay, now this is why we had to leave with GT Online character, okay, well, with GT Online 1. You see that? We're hovering over it. That's what you want. You want to go ahead and press triangle now and simply decline the alert. Your guy should be standing forward. Go ahead now and find some modded outfits through beach bums or emergency services. Hit square on any of the categories and there you go. You can just look through all these random modded outfits. Now, I'm going to explain all the stuff you need to know about the modded outfits, all right? So you can get as many as you can hold hitting this glitch, honestly. So you can shortlist up to 10, obviously, because that's all that's on the shortlist. And you can try to save those later. OK, so shortlist 10 if you want to save a bunch of outfits. If you want to do merge slots, don't shortlist anything yet. OK, you can come back to the trailer later. Just don't shortlist anything yet until we get out of here and I'll show you why. All right. Saving the white duffel bag is next. I'm going to do that right after this, okay? Now, stay away from invisible parts, uh, except for invisible arms with racing gloves. Those will be okay. Uh, no Christmas components. You don't need any sort of Christmas components. If you're unsure about an outfit, hover over it for 30 seconds, and it should change if it's bad or blacklisted. And uh, yeah, not all outfits will stick because of those blacklisted components, okay? So now that we've covered all of that, I'm just going to select any outfit here just to bring it online and show you how you go online. So just press circle, go back to the online characters and then exit GTA online this way. Just hit GTA online one or whichever character you're using. All right. This is the one I'm using. So once I exit and I head back into this spawns you into online, you see I'm back in the invite only session just like this by myself. Don't have to worry about anything. If you want activate God mode, that's up to you. But that's why I like being in a session here by myself doing this. And I'm going to set a waypoint over at the uh, the clothes shop and I'm going to teleport there. OK, so once we spawn in to save outfits, guys, it's as simple as just running into the clothes store, pressing right D pad on the counter and just saving your outfit like you normally would. There's no weird, crazy save method whatsoever. So you can see right here, I'm just going to save it, call it whatever and done. Just like that, you've saved yourself a modded outfit. Nice and easy. OK. So that's as simple that that's as simple as it is when you just want to save outfits. Go ahead and save a bunch of them. Just try to save all of them. Not all of them might work, but that's how you do it. OK, so now this is how you set up merge slots. If you open up the DM menu and go to switch actor, you're going to see that you have a bunch of slots. There's the short list and recently used that we supplied with, with, to you in this save. Now, as you can see, you got some outfit slots like this. They got joggers, uh, all different colors, you know, matching with body armor and a few other things, logos, things like that. Those invisible parts can be merged. OK, that's why they're invisible. I believe it's torso one, two, your hands and your feet. All those can be merged and it's super easy to actually do this. OK, so once you find one of these or multiples that you like, just go ahead and back out of the menu and save it. Just just save it into any slot, save it. in. I like to save it into the last slots just to know where all my stuff is. I'm going to name it Merge Red and that's it. You've created a merge slot that you can now use later on, even after you're done with this glitch. OK, that's it. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by a merge slot. So if you go ahead and select any other outfit and then move to that merge slot, that's what it does. It merges. You see all the white stuff from that outfit merges, all the orange stuff merged onto that outfit. That's how this works and that's how simple it is. So in the future, once this glitch is gone, you have these merge slots and you can take advantage of them to make new outfits when say new components come out. Now I'm going to show you how to save the white duffel bag. So when you found a white duffel bag in the trailer, you should have shortlisted it to make sure that it's saved. Now head over to the mask shop. OK, now in the video, the Coast Guard in the switch actors is my white duffel bag video. I switched to the Boardwalker nine. You just want to switch to the outfit that's next to your shortlisted white bag. Head over to the mask shop. Keep hovering over the outfit. That's the white bag, which is my Coast Guard right there. I'm going to go ahead and close the menu now. Once I head over to the hat section, I'm going to hit right D pad. 
Okay, and now that I've hit right D-pad, I'm gonna hold the, the select button to open the menu in the background and simply hit X on the white duffel bag outfit. If you've done it correctly, you'll hit a black screen and you'll still be wearing the same outfit you saw before. That's okay. Okay, we did switch to the outfit, you just can't see it. Press square, and what you want to do is save the outfit now into an empty slot. As you can see, it looks kind of wonky, but you'll find your way through it. Just be patient, find an empty slot or a slot you want to save over, and just go ahead and save the outfit. As you can see, I'm just going to name it save outfit, you know, 14, whatever the new outfit 14, the default, okay? and I've saved it. Now you're still gonna look like this. Go ahead and open up your interaction menu, do the pause trick, head over to style and select the outfit you just saved and it should be there. As you can see right here, boom, I have the white duffel bag right there with the whole outfit. So it's saved. That's how you save the white duffel bag from the trailer without any sort of Christmas mask. All right, so now say you're done with all this stuff after you've gotten out of the trailer, but you wanna scroll through more outfits. It's very simple. You're gonna go back in the same way that we went in the first time when we spawned in with the DM menu. Simply open up your interaction menu, head over to casting trailer, accept the alert. Once you're at the casting trailer, hovering over GTA Online 1, press triangle, it'll shortlist and bring up an alert. You wanna go ahead and decline that alert, and that's it. Your guy should be facing straight at that point. You can press circle, go over to beach bums or emergency services, and start scrolling through outfits. That's it. So pretty simple guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a lot of information, but this is probably the best DM outfit glitch we have ever had. The ability to have merge slots to get anything from the trailer without getting a mask. It's pretty impressive. All right. So that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Shout out once again to the founders, Shift Team, and everybody else involved. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Turn on post notifications, everybody, so you're notified the second I post any sort of videos. Follow me over on Twitter to stay updated on the day-to-day -day GTA info. And follow me on Twitch for any future live stream information as well. Have a great day, guys, and enjoy the glitch.